Good afternoon, Vancouver Island Regional Library fans. Today we are here in Nanaimo at Buttertubs Marsh, a wetlands in the heart of Nanaimo. And today, as you can see, it's a frosty winter morning at minus two with a wind chill of minus eight. So today we're here with Colin to do the backyard bird count. So Colin, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Colin Bartlett, backyard Walbert nature store. Uh, Local birder, been birding since, uh, well, about 14, I guess. Uh, been birding a long time, just out and enjoying. Great, and so we're here today to do the backyard bird count. Can you tell us a little bit about the backyard bird count? The great backyard bird count is to help, or to get local citizen scientists out to uh, count the birds in their backyard, to see the populations of birds, how they're fluctuating up and down, what they're doing, uh, where birds go in the winter time because like this year we're seeing a lot of pine siskins out on the Pacific Northwest because they've all shifted here because of the high natural seed so we're seeing a lot of different birds this winter and a lot more higher numbers of certain birds and uh, today at Buttertubs Marsh are there any birds that you're hoping to see that we might catch a glimpse of today? well there's one rare one that's uh, the American bittern um, it's been seen again here it's been a long time since we've heard or seen them here, but it's been seen over along the dike uh, just in the last few weeks. So that's been good to hear they're back. But uh, otherwise, uh, we'll just see what there is. It is uh, a little cool, so the birds will be off finding food and not singing or calling so much. So we'll see what there is. <laughs> Great, well, thank you. So we're gonna start our walk around the beautiful walkway of Buttertubs Marsh here in Nanaimo. So join us for our walk and we'll try to find some birds. <laughs> so here we're finding some song sparrows on the ground here. And how, uh, how, how rare or how common are song sparrows to the Nanaimo region? Co very common. Yeah, song sparrows. Song sparrows are very common. You'll be seeing them in your backyard around your bird feeders right now. Come spring, summer, they'll move off back to marsh areas, forested, wooded areas to do their nesting, and then they'll move back into the backyards next fall and winter. That one there in the picture is a fox sparrow. Fox sparrow. It's forging for seed right now. Ah. So a fox sparrow primarily would search for a seed? When yeah, they're going to be doing the same as all the other sparrows on the ground. Sparrows are sort of a ground bird. They're going to be kicking up, looking under what we call leaf litter, old leaves and whatnot, looking for seeds, looking for insects. He's found some there, so he's trying to dig through and keep keep finding all the seeds you can. There's a bird off on the brambles here. Did any of our viewers uh, guess from this distance what it could be? If you can see the red eye, it's a spotted towhee. Spotted towhee. Yeah. You can get it. Yeah, they have a beautiful red eye. Ah, it? It's a beautiful bird. Song sparrows. <laughs> song sparrows. We'll have lots of song sparrows. Uh, what other sort of life 
wildlife could uh, someone potentially oh. see out here? As we'll see marching. a lot of beavers. You can get beavers out here, river otters. Um, every once in a while you get the odd bear through here uh, and the odd cougar walks through. He follows the river up and down. Um, but yeah, lots of, lots of stuff. We got birds, those mammals, you get squirrels, of course. The eastern gray squirrels are all over the place. Um, but yeah. Wonderful. Before you got here, all the red winged blackbirds were busy, everything was. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to ask you whether we might see some red winged blackbirds they were, today. They were singing away, they were calling away, I should say. Should be able to see some. A lot of these reeds are all floating. Oh, okay. So these these grassy reeds that are out here, some of them float. So when the wind blows one way, you'll get them all pushing one way, and then when it blows back, they'll all go the other way. Because the weather is kind of calm now, and the things inland are all frozen, a lot of the birds will move down to the waterfront. In the open water there. Oh. Red winged blackbirds. Hear them. Yeah. Uh, Red, <laughs> great blue hair. Oh, wow. Well, that was fun. It's coming back now. Those are the red winged blackbirds up there. Oh. Last year. Yeah. Crows, crows take a bunch of sticks and just lay them and build it up. And then they'll put grasses sometimes and leaves in them to line them. And that's kind of looking, it's not weaved together like other birds do. The Osprey Tower is a little open water, so there's some ducks over there. We'll see them from the other viewing stand. There's another heron. Well, this time most of it's going to be seed. Uh, most of our insect eating species of birds have migrated south for the winter time. So everything that sort of winters here are seed eaters, but they will still find certain bugs, get that nutrition from that. Uh, you'll, of course, the ducks and whatnot will get small fish and whatnot that are in butter tubs, uh, feeding on those things, feeding down in the soil, getting out little microbes down there that they feed on. So there's still lots of stuff going on, but our insect eaters are all south. That's why we won't see swallows here, the warblers. They're all down south where there's the insects for them to feed on. They'll be back in April, May. But if, would the western painted turtles be hibernating at this time of yes. year? Yes. Yeah, you'll see. still see them out every once in a while when they're when it's sunny and whatnot. They'll get up on a log and sun and that, but they'll stay very low and keep warm and just feed just. Yeah, save energy is all this is about right now with this weather. <laughs> Conserve. Sound. Sound of the wood. Okay. 
the Sunday bird walk we do every, well, right now they're on hold, but we've been doing them for, since we, well, the last 23 years we've been doing them. Uh, different locations around Nanaimo Parksville, up to Qualicum sometimes, go out for two and a half hours. But yeah, something like butter tubs, we would come here and just take our time going around. Um, ne neck point, we go down to the estuary, uh, up to the estuary in Parksville. A lot of great places to go and see birds. And if our viewers wanted to know more about the Sunday bird walk? They can call us at the store or check out our blog or our website at uh, www.thebackyard.ca. Oh, we can do quite a few, probably like in here alone in a certain times of the year. You can probably see about uh, eight or ten different species of ducks in Buttertub's Marsh here. Um, I mean, right now, we got I think five of them out there right now. So, uh, yeah, it's it can be a very popular place for the ducks, especially springtime, early spring and fall, which before they go to nest and when they finish nesting and congregate before they move off again. Chickadee that flew up into the tree. Yeah. Chest and it's chestnut back chickadee. Okay. It's the only chickadee we have on Vancouver Island. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, the jungle. Oh, jungle just flew by. And how you can tell the jungle when they fly by? They have two white outer tail feathers, oh. and they'll flash those as they go along. You'll see those as they fly away. Not as many chickadees around the backyards this year because we have a bumper crop of natural seeds so they've sort of moved into the woods oh. feeding on the natural. When you say natural seeds, what sort of seeds are they looking for? At the cones. Cones, pine cones. Seed cones, 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 seed yeah. cones. Yeah. yeah. More of that sort of stuff. All the trees. Uh, even your alders have what they call catkins, those little, little seed pods that hang down. Back there there was lots. Uh, a lot of the finches will feed onto those things as well. So, stellar jays oh, climb around. And here's just a little bit on that tree right there. there. Stellar jay. There he is. Yeah. This here too. Yeah, stellar jays. Two stellar of them there. Jays. One of them over there. At least three. Another one calling over there. Four. <laughs> a lot of stellar jays. here long enough you'll watch them getting in there to drink because <laughs> there's not a lot of open water there there's one drinking in there right now yeah down in the back there there's a little fence drinking it's a finch in the water like a pine song sparrow and a fox sparrow uh, the difference between the two is they're both brown and they're both streaky but the song sparrow has a gray eye stripe and the fox sparrow does not so it's an easy way to tell the difference between them And they're the boxes blower for the purple martins, which we've had in the last okay. couple of years actually mm -hmm. nesting in those boxes, as well as the swallows will nest in there. How would you uh, determine the difference between a cedar waxwing and a bohemian waxwing? Bohemian waxwing will have red markings on the wings, as well as their chest is gray where the cedar wax wings is more of a buff yellow color on the chest and not the extra markings in the wing. There come a whole bunch of them right now. They keep coming in and out here. Thank you. 